Hello my lovely Taurus, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is a timeless reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so let's just uh, pick those back up. So what does our lovely Taurus need to know? What does our lovely Taurus need to know please? Okay, Ooh, we've got two cards to come out here. So the first card is Cat. Intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust it. You, there, there's something going on in your life that you know the answer to or you know what you should be doing, but you're not trusting it. You're not trusting it at all. You're fighting it. Your intuition is asking you to trust it and just to move with it. And it might be scary. It is unknown, but just go with it anyway. There's another energy here that is asking you to get in touch with your intuition, to sit, to meditate, to journal, to get grounded, but you need to get in touch with your intuition. I feel like for some of you, you feel very blocked off from it, like you can't feel anything. You might have gone through something and you feel numb and you don't know what to do. You feel like your intuition's broken. It's not. You just need to connect with it again. You need to sit. Um, one thing that I always enjoy doing is lighting a candle and staring at the flame because it really can clear my mind. And then I can just meditate from there. If I want to, I'm not a big meditator, um, but if I feel like I want to meditate, I will. And that helps me connect with my intuition uh, again okay so if that works for you then that's fine go for a nice long walk somewhere just to take in the and just try to listen to rather than try and get your thoughts to go over and over just try and listen so go for a walk somewhere and just listen to the birds or listen to other people playing or whatever it may be but just don't think try not to let your thoughts overrun and try and listen to what's going on around you and that's when the angels can kind of connect with you a bit more you've also got here the dogs you've got the dog and the cat and this is companionship. Maybe this is what you're lacking. Maybe this is what you're searching for. You're searching for companionship. You're searching for that someone or that something. Like it could be a pet. Could be this could be guiding you to go and get a pet, the cat and the dog, if that's if that's something you want. But you want some kind of companionship. Um, but you don't know what to do and you can't listen, your intuition's not guiding you correctly. So getting in touch with your intuition will guide you to what kind of companion um or what to do to find a companion is gonna help you. And on the bottom of the deck we do have the red cro red crowned crane and this is about loyalty okay so the dog is about loyalty the cats you know they're cats <laughs> i'm not a cat person i'm a dog person let me know what you are um the red crowned crane is about loyalty you've been loyal you're a loyal person and i do feel that you've got someone coming into your life who is going to be very loyal to you now this could be a dog because dogs are loyal but it could be a relationship it might not be it might just be a friend but this person or this this pet or whatever is going to be very loyal to you um and which is something that you are looking for okay right let's move on to tarot and see if it gives us any further insight for you so angel spirit guys what do taurus need to know please okay okay so we've got the eight of swords and we've got the three of wands yeah Okay, let's just get one more card before I delve into that. Um, because the Eight of Swords is all about restriction. It's about you stopping you. And I feel that might be something that you're doing. That's why you can't listen to your intuition right now, because you're stopping you. Eight of Cups. Okay. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Swords here. This is restriction. This is where you're feeling trapped. This is where you're feeling um, no hope type of energy. Um, you are, you're the one that feels like you're stuck. You're, you're, you've been backed in a corner with, with, with this card here, Scar from Lion King. You do feel backed in a corner a little bit and like you don't know what way to turn. This is why you're feeling like you're not in touch with your intuition right now. The thing is, you're the one that's stopping you. I mean, you could escape this. You could, like this person, Scar's obviously a cat. He could climb the wall. He could jump. There's plenty of rocks there for him to jump up. So you're the one that's stopping you. If you want to change your life, then you can change it. But whether or not you're allowing other situations... Um, whether or not you're allowing other situations in your life stopping you, your fear, because it's the fear, it's the fear of moving forward. And that fear is kind of making you feel trapped, like you can't move forward. You feel like you want to, your mind is saying you want to, but your body physically won't move. 
and it's about doing some work and protecting yourself with the cat with the cat's intuition sorry but protecting yourself um and setting yourself free so there doesn't need to be like massive jumps it needs to be like one small step one small step forward like going for that walk or looking at that candle flame to try and clear the mind or journaling or writing down your feelings and let the pen take over. Whatever it is, you're the one that's stopping you. So one small step of coming out of this fear mode, this ego mode, is going to help you move forward. Now you've got the three of wands here. So the three of wands is telling you that it's time to move forward. There's no more thinking about it, hoping for it, hoping someone's going to knock on the door and pass it to you on a silver platter. It's not going to work that way. The three of wands is saying it's time to start moving. This could mean traveling. It could mean taking a mini vacation. It could mean um, going to see a friend somewhere that is not around you. To get that time that you need, to get that space that you need to get in touch with your intuition again. Um, it will guide you on your path. I feel that you need to take a break. I feel that you need a break. If you can afford to, you need to take a break. If you can't afford to, I feel that you need to have a staycation. Like literally you shut the door, you turn the phone off, everything. And you're just like, I am just in my house or in my room or wherever it is you live. And you're just this, I am just staying at home and I'm just having that staycation and I'm going to reconnect with myself. But if you can, I do feel there's energy here. Okay, thank you. There's energy here for you to travel. And I feel there's energy here for you to travel near a beach. OK, uh, a story just popped in my head that I felt like I needed to share. I read a book and I can't remember what it's called. Um, I think it's something of Casablanca, the secrets of Casablanca or something like that. Anyway, in there, um, this person lost her dad and the friend of hers took her to the ocean and said, right on the stone, right on the stone, your dad's name. And then you're going to pick up that stone, you're going to throw it into the ocean and you're giving it back to the universe. So the ocean's a very big, wide place and it can take it. It can take all your negative energy, it can take all your pain, it can take all your hurt. And this is what it feels like, all this pain, all this hurt that you've had to overcome that stopped you from moving forward. Uh, that made you feel trapped, made you feel so so much anxiety that you can't move you need to release it and by doing that it's like going to the beach writing on a pebble or a stone like someone's name or the situation and throwing it back into the ocean and saying i don't want it no more you have it back take it back and it will release something and i feel like that's something you need to do so if you live near a beach or you can get to a beach or, or anything it's something that could help you and that's not for everybody some of you might say that's, that's bloody stupid rach but you know if it's going to help then help but there is some kind of travel that you need to help get clarity and then you've got the Eight of Cups here. The Eight of Cups is about you walking away. So what are you going to walk away from? Are you walking away from this negative mindset? Are you walking away from the um, a past relationship? Are you walking away from a job? Are you walking away from something that is no longer serving you? What are you walking away from? There's something here that you need to walk away from. Okay, and you are gonna walk. You you're gonna do it. You've been thinking about doing it, but maybe that's what you're feeling trapped with. You're feeling scared to walk away from something because of the unknown. But when you walk away from something, there's always something else to walk into. And I feel that you need to take some time out and and take some space to be able to figure out what is your next step. Not the step in 10, 15 years, but just what is the next step for you. Because when you figure that out, it will make the transition a little easier. You'll be able to unstuck, unstick yourself. But let's go into clarification. So what else do our lovely Taurus need to know? Can you clarify the Eight of Swords, please? Oh, wow. Okay. You got the princess of wands okay or the page of wands you've also got the two of coins and you've got the temperance card as well wow okay now i didn't do the bottom of the deck of the last card sorry about that let's do that now so on the bottom of the deck you've got the tower card and i feel like this is what's already happened you've already had your tower moment everything's kind of gone wrong for you 
everything's falling apart and you didn't know what way to go and you tried really hard to keep it up together but sometimes the best thing to do is just to let it fall just let it crumble because every time things crumble every time things fall it's just kind of shedding that old skin that you no longer need and when you shed that skin it gives you a chance to put new skin on it gives you a chance to rebuild and this time you can rebuild with a better structure this time you can rebuild with a better foundation this is time you can rebuild the life that you want to lead and this is what's happening like you could be going through this tower moment right now or it's something that's going to be happening fairly soon or you've already happened but i feel that it's going to be scary it's going to be a lot of chaos a lot of it's going to hit s is going to hit the fan but i feel like it's necessary to shed what is no longer necessary in your life so that you can rebuild something now with the eight of swords you've got the page of wands so you're restricting yourself right now. You're the one that's keeping you stuck. And it's up to you to, uh, excuse me, it's up to you to unstick yourself. Now the Princess of Wands is saying there's going to be an offer coming in. There's going to be an offer coming in. It could be from the universe. It could be a job offer. Uh, it could be uh, an offer to go and see a friend or whatever. And it could just be out of like, oh, just let me know when you're around and you, can, you have to come up one day. It's like, do you know what? I really might take you up on that offer because I do need a break. That offer is going to come in and when it does, you're being guided to take that offer because that offer is going to help you release this. I don't know what it could be. It could be a simple, it gets, you might just get a, a flash of inspiration and that's the universe offering you something. And you're like, oh, do I go with it? Do I not go with it? Do I, do I not? And the answer is yes, you've got to go for it. So with the three of wands, you've got the two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles is about finding balance and making decisions. Now, I said before, didn't I, with the three of wands, it's about going and trying to travel or going on a little vacation or go and see a friend that, that's moved away. And with the two of coins here, uh, as you can see um, through the doorway, they've got a boat. The boat's coming in. Your boat's coming in. You know, you've got the dark boat on this side, which is leaving. And then you've got this one here, which is coming in. You need to make a choice. Do you stay where you are or do you move? That's your decision. So what is it that you want to do? Which boat do you want to get on? This is a choice you need to make. And if you choose to stay on the dark boat, then that's your choice. That's fine. You've got to accept the consequences of that. If you choose to get on the, the boat through the doorway, that's great. That's fine. You suffer the consequences of it and there's good and bad consequences if you do if you make the right decision good consequences if you don't make the right decision and you know you don't make the right decision bad consequences and this is where you need to connect with your intuition to know which to do but as you can see through here they're on water it's traveling somewhere and i feel that's what you need to do here um taurus you need to travel somewhere you need to take a little break to connect with yourself again now we have the Eight of Cups with the Temperance card. So if you decide to walk away from something, if you decide to leave something or someone behind, it's gonna take, you're gonna have to have patience with yourself because it is gonna hurt, I'm not gonna lie, it is gonna hurt. But you're gonna have to have that patience with yourself because this is about you finding balance again. This is about you finding yourself and balancing yourself out, realigning who you really are. And when you walk away from something and walk into the unknown, you're going to feel really off balance because you don't know what you're doing. But have patience with yourself while you'll figure this out. Okay, don't try and rush it. Don't try and think, oh my God, I need to do it now, I need to do it now, I need to do it now. No, you don't. You don't need to do it now. You need to have patience with yourself while you realign. Just have patience. I feel like it's all going to work out. It's, it's very blasé. It's very like, yeah, it's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. That's the energy I'm getting. It's going to be fine. Just have patience with yourself. Don't rush into it. You've got plenty of time. Don't just chill. And that's kind of like the, what the energy I'm, I'm, I'm receiving here is what I'm getting. So with the tower card, which I absolutely love, is you've got the world card. So when one thing falls, there's a completion and something amazing is about to happen. So you've got the tower card where everything falls apart. And then you've got the world card where everything kind of pulls itself together again. And the world card is about fulfillment and happiness and completion. And this, this part of your life is about to come to a, to a close and you're about to start a new one. But it all comes down to a decision that you need to make. And you need to go and take some time to yourself to connect with your intuition. And maybe a companion is a friend that lives away. So you can go and talk to this person. You can go and reconnect with them and they're going to guide you along the right path to be able to set yourself free. Okay, let's get one final more mes final message for you, uh, Taurus. So um, let's see what we have. 
you like today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel and I appreciate it so much. So thank you for all the love and support you've given me so far. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot. There's a link in the description box below for you. And if you are on TikTok, then please do go and give me a follow over on TikTok. Uh, again, there's a link in the description box below. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what's the final message for Taurus, please? Whoops. Okay, thank you. <sighs> nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, nothing is nothing ever is set in stone in life. It's never set in stone. There's always an uh, option. There's always possibilities. There's always a way out of things. There's always a way into things. Sometimes they're pretty. No, they're not pretty sometimes. But sometimes you just got to do it anyway. There's always a way out. You just got to try and find the easiest and kindest way of doing it. And sometimes there isn't one. Sometimes it needs to be ripped the band-aid off. But other times it is trying to find that easy and more comfortable way out of it. But if you can't find it, you just got to get out. But nothing is set in stone. So don't feel that you are... Um, don't feel that you are committed and there's no way out. You are not trapped. There's a, it's always figure outable. Always. Okay. And then on the bottom of the deck, we've got a time to give rather than take. How can you help others? How can you help yourself? Okay. There's a time to give and there's a time to take. So which time is it now? Is it time to take? So to give to yourself or is it time to give and sacrifice things for yourself? What one is right for you at this moment, right now? What do you need? Okay, that's all I've got for you today, my lovely Taurus. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonate, then do drop it in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a great day. Stay enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one.